Hello all, I'm sure you have watched a tutorial series on GNU Khata. If not, then give us the link to all our tutorials. You can also find the link in the description box for this tutorial. This will not just get you started, but this will show you pretty much everything to make your business easy and stress-free. All the tutorials in this series so far have been very business oriented and for those who wish to take full advantage of our automation features, in this tutorial we are going to take a different view. It is true that small scale businesses, individual proprietors, startups and micro enterprises love the accounting automation and related functionality. However, the accounting fraternity including chartered accountants and those who understand bookkeeping prefer to control everything by themselves and do not wish to use the automation features. Even students of accounting are encouraged to do bookkeeping entries themselves. The teachers or faculties who teach accounting would also need to do the entries manually so as to teach the students. This tutorial is for all those mentioned categories of users who would prefer to use GNU Khata in a traditional accounting style. So let's get started. It is assumed that you have seen the tutorial on company setup as a prerequisite. If not, then here's the link. This link is also available in the description box. So open the company setup wizard. For the sake of our current approach, when you are creating a company, you will have to uncheck the checkbox labeled Use Simple Mode for Receipt and Payment Vouchers. This will show you traditional voucher interface instead of the one meant for those who don't understand the DR and CR bookkeeping rules. You will see the effect when we start making vouchers. You can either check or uncheck the next item which generates the accounting entries for documents. We recommend unchecking this item for this tutorial. All the remaining items can be kept as it is and you can proceed with the rest of the setup from the company setup tutorial. The changes suggested give us a rather simple traditional accounting setup. Now that we have set up our company with all necessary details, let's get on with our accounting activities. First things first, we need to create our necessary account heads. GNU Khata actually provides us with a list of most common purpose account heads generally used by everyone who does bookkeeping. However, in addition to those heads, we would often need to create our own. From the sidebar, click on the master menu. You can see here or you can just press F2 as a shortcut to get to the create account screen. As you can see, there is a drop down to select the main group and optionally the subgroup for the account name. Let's browse through the list of standard groups provided in the drop down. As can be seen, there are groups under which we will create our accounts. These groups with their respective accounts show up either in our balance sheet or profit and loss reports when we tally our books. We can observe that when selecting direct income, indirect income, direct expense or indirect expense, the entry for opening balance is disabled. Now select the capital as the group and the option none subgroup in the subgroup dropdown. We are only creating one account in this group subgroup category so we need not use the create multiple accounts option. In the account name box type startup capital as the account name. Do not enter anything for opening balance and just click save. Navigation on the screen is possible using tab key or enter key to go ahead and shift plus tab or up arrow to go back. 
we just learn how to create accounts also called as account heads or ledgers we can always have a look at the list of accounts including the ones we created as well as those which gnu khata provided us by default in the account tabs click on the list of accounts this option is also available in the reports menu here you can see the list which also shows us the account which we just created all the accounts are listed with its respective group and optional subgroup for the sake of simplicity we will just ignore the default column for this tutorial so in this tutorial we have learned how to create accounts and how to browse the list of accounts in the next part of this tutorial we will get on with the real activity of bookkeeping so until then this is priya kotak signing off goodbye and happy bookkeeping